Hey guys, Josh here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at how you can transform your phone footage with just a simple product. Let's get into it. So, in the film industry, there are tons of filters that help you achieve a certain look. One of the most popular being diffusion filters. These filters soften up your image and create a beautiful glow to everything, especially your highlights. In fact, diffusion filters are so popular in the film industry that I guarantee you've seen it being used in a movie, TV show, or commercial in the past week. I actually have one with me. This is the Black Promise filter made by Tiffin. And this one is 1 8 strength. Now this filter is so big because it normally would slot into a map box along with ND filters or any other filters that you might be using. They also make them circular and threaded so you can thread it onto the front of your lens. Now just a quick unscientific demonstration, here's what the image looks like without the black Promist filter on. And here's what it looks like with it on. And you can see that overall the image is softer, there's a nice glow to it, it's less contrasty, and hopefully there's less texture just in my skin overall. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think it looks better? I think it looks super cool. Up until a few years ago, I really haven't seen these filters being used anywhere other than larger productions. But now it seems like YouTubers and photographers are starting to catch on and use it in their projects, which is so great to see. So today we're gonna be taking a look at Moments version of this filter called Cine Bloom and seeing what sorts of results you can get with a phone. So here is the filter. It comes in a protective case and you can choose between three strengths, five, 10, and 20%. I have the 20% with me today, and the higher the number, the more effect it will have on your image. To use the filter on your phone, you'll just need to hold it in front of your phone as you're filming, or use tape, like so. I'm just kidding. Moment actually sells a phone filter mount, which just clamps onto your phone and is probably better than using tape. All you have to do is unscrew this little knob, then slot the filter mount in front of your camera assembly, and then tighten the screw. Once you have the mount on there pretty good, you can go ahead and thread in your diffusion filter. After that's done, you can also thread after that's done, you can also thread another filter on top of it. I'd totally recommend using a variable ND as uh, if you're shooting video, get your shutter speed down and create that nice motion blur. Um, the one I'm using today is also made by Moment and it goes from two to five stops. All right, with everything attached, here's what your phone will look like and you can basically start shooting. So here's a quick video I shot with the Cinebloom filter. I've always seen clothing as a silent way of speaking to the world. The fabric touches our skin and temporarily becomes a part of us. I started Exhilo to allow creators in the world to proudly express what they're most passionate about. Wearing clothing that speaks towards creativity affirms my identity as a creator. Now that was a super short clip, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. The guy in the video is my good friend Curtis, who started a clothing company called Exilo, made for creators. I'm actually wearing one of the hoodies right now and it's super comfortable. So if you're interested, make sure to check out his merch in the link below. Anyway, let's talk about the filter. So with the 20% Cine Bloom filter, you can see the glow effects coming in really nicely, especially from that bright window. The filter definitely helps tone down that digital sharpness that a lot of phones seem to overdo nowadays. And honestly, even still after using this filter, I can see some of that artificial sharpening. So Apple, if you're listening to this, it would be so awesome for us filmmakers and pro users to add an option in maybe a future software update to disable that sharpening. But yeah, as far as the look goes, I really, really dig the look. I shot everything using the Pro Camera app by Moment, which I definitely recommend checking out if you wanna get the most out of your phone camera. The app allowed me to get access to more advanced features such as shutter speed, ISO, focus, white balance, as well as tons of other monitoring tools such as waveform, peaking, clipping, and more. Now personally, I really liked the ability to manually focus my shots. I feel like phones nowadays are just too good at autofocus and it gives it almost like a robotic feel, but having that ability to manually dial in my focus gives it a more natural and human feel to it. Now some things about this filter, you definitely don't need to use it in every situation and it's also not going to just magically make your footage beautiful. The fundamentals of cinematography and photography like composition and lighting are still probably the most important skills to have, but if you're taking 
taking videos or photos, just documenting everyday life. This filter definitely helps to establish a mood and just makes everything overall softer and more pleasing in my opinion. Now real quick, while I was testing this product, you can imagine that my phone battery was dying pretty quickly since I was using the camera all the time. And I needed a way to charge it quickly, which is where Anchor's Nano Pro Charger comes in. And they've actually agreed to sponsor this video. So big thank you to Anchor for being the first sponsor of this channel. The Nano Pro is a 20 watt charger, which will get your phone from zero to 50% in just 26 minutes. Compared to the Apple 20 watt charger, the Nano Pro is way smaller and charges your phone just as fast. This charger also provides continuous temperature monitoring and output control to protect the battery health of your device. They come in four colors. There's blue, white, purple, and this black one, which I gotta say looks really unique with the reflective backing on it. I don't think I've ever seen a charger with like this reflective back. My favorite would probably be the white one. I think it just looks really clean and sleek. So yeah, big thank you again to Anchor for sponsoring this video, and I'll make sure to have links down below for where you can pick one up for yourself. Anyway, to wrap up this video, here are my thoughts. I'm super glad that Moment is making these filters more approachable to the everyday user. Like you don't have to be a professional cinematographer or photographer to be able to take advantage of tools like these. So I hope that you learned something new today about these diffusion filters and maybe even get inspired to get out there and create art of your own or tell interesting stories. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing and liking the video if you like the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.